morning. Another quick update on the building is to say that, yeah, we're working now, that the loan has been approved. So, and I think that's pretty well one of the final little bits in the jigsaw that comes together. So we are planning that we are out of this building and the work starts in January next year. 2012, not 2013, 2012. It's really coming together, folks. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together, the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them. This Jesus is among us now. We can recognize that now, or we can try and summon up some kind of sense, but he's here now. He says, peace be with you. He said to them, look at my hands and my side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. This Jesus is amongst us. Let's recognize that. Let's revel in his presence uh, as we sing uh, some uh, songs together that take up this theme. If during this first part um, you sense that God is uh, wanting you to pray out a prayer of praise, there'll be little gaps, just shout it out good and loud. If you sense God is bringing a word of encouragement, come forward, just share it with me, and we'll, if it's appropriate, we'll weave that in at the right time. Boys and girls, there are things that we're going to be doing together a bit later, okay? If in the meantime you want to start coloring, you can. If you want to save that, then uh, you might want to save it, okay? But uh, we're here together as family to enjoy the presence of Jesus. Let's stand together. Everyone needs <laughs> compassion.
come, Lord Jesus, author of life itself, author of salvation. We welcome you afresh into our lives. We honor you, we worship you. You are our King. You are our Lord. You know our hearts are surrendering afresh to you. We bless you. Amen.
Apostle Paul writes, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. I just sense that some of you this morning need your inner being strengthened. You're feeling fragile. And the promise is that God will strengthen us in our innermost being by his spirit through his power so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So if that's you this morning, I just invite you to hold your hands out. There's nothing controlled here. We're simply asking that the Holy Spirit would come and strengthen us, that God would fulfill his promise. And so as we hold our hands out before you now, we pray that out of your glorious riches, you may strengthen us with power through your spirit in our inner being. May Christ dwell in our hearts through faith. So Lord, we receive your strength. As we stand in your presence, we receive your strength. Come, Holy Spirit, and strengthen us in our innermost being. you're wanting strength keep receiving it it's a promise it's a promise from the father keep receiving as the rest of us proclaim the mighty name of jesus all hail the power of jesus name